very easy to pray to God. It's very easy to maintain a relationship with God. And it's very easy to receive power from God. And it's very easy to receive blessing from God. Let me ask you. Do you want to experience the Holy Spirit powerfully? If you want to, then open your heart, hunger for God. And God will come to you powerfully. He will bless you. And you'll be empowered now with a just on a roll. Every time that you pray. Please now close your eyes. Hunger for God. Everyone. Think of God as the source of all blessings. Hunger for God. I need God. Everyone stand up. I need God. I want God. You can, yeah, you can take this from the four corners here. You know. Now, hunger for God. Okay. We hunger for God. I hunger for God. Uh, I need God. Everyone stand up and close your eyes. Okay? Now I pray for the three of us. Now we have time. Everyone concentrate the Lord. I feel more than the Father. Oh my God. Oh, 
Oh. Everyone hunger for God. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I want you, Lord.
I felt some power. Aliishi nguvu wakati alikuwa anaombewa. And I let my legs just like being lifted down. Ndani ya miguu ameishi ni kama anailolewa. Or standing like eh, on a something like a rubber a rubber band. I felt like my feet are standing on uh, something like a sponge or a rubber band. Ameishi ni kana kwamba ameshimama katika sehemu ambayo ni nyepesi inayovutie. So I was feeling like some very cool breeze. Alikuwa anaishi zile eh eh ile hewa ambayo ina unyevunyevu ambayo ni nzuri sana. Just flowing eh around me. Ikitembea ikizunguka feeling am being loose. Akijiishi kwamba nafunguliwa. I thank God. Anashukuru Bwana. I feel this this is the power of the Holy Spirit. I experienced it as he was praying. Can you describe how you feel your heart? How you feel your heart? My heart something like uh, some air just being blowing into my heart. Nikana kwamba hewa inapulizwa ndani ya roho yake. Now how would this change your spiritual life? Hii imebadilisha aje maisha yako ya kiroho. I think that maybe I was uh, somehow being bad but now I feel that I'm I'm being made free. Yeah, amekuwa kijisi kwamba ana mizigo mingi lakini sasa anizi kwamba ile mizigo ambayo amekuwa ameibeba imeanza kutoweka. I thank God. Nashukuru Bwana. Do you want to be do you want to be used by God? Wewe unahitaji kutumiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu? Diary, I want to fuse me. Ako diary kutumiwa na Bwana na Mungu. Are you a minister of God? Uko katika huduma? Yes. Now you, you know, we need the Holy Spirit and we need good teaching. When we have the Holy Spirit and have good biblical teaching, wakati una roho takatifu na mapunzo mazuri ya bibiria, our life will go higher and higher. I'm going to demonstrate something. Nataka kuambia kitu. That of how the Holy Spirit can come from us with our words. Yeah, Jesus above the world, the kind of man is that we hear that man is. Okay, now you close your eyes. Come to my show. Lord Jesus, bless him. Lord Jesus, come upon him. When I ask you, Lord Jesus, touch his life. When I ask you, oh Jesus, yes, Lord Jesus, touch his life. When I ask you, oh. Just now I was not laying a hand on you. Or that you could do something. 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 Naisi kana kwamba sasa ni upepo ambao kana kwamba ni uo kiasi kinikujia he felt warm air touching his life okay so what i'm saying is we can carry the power of God around us hizo basi tunaongelea tunaweza Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, the two brothers, do you want to share anything about what you experienced?
Ndugu wetu wawili sijui kama mna kitu ambacho tumetamani kushiriki nasi. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Wakati tumekuwa hapa mbele Tuma, as you been here in front of you, we have received the new power, and we have received changes in our hearts. That's all, and God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. As we been here, we so been set free. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, when I when you hear this testimonies, what can you see who should have? And see these people experience the Holy Spirit. You can go. Now, you know how a kiss from the kingdom is Sunday is Sunday. Now, I hope you all will keep the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Then you see how real the Holy Spirit is. How real God is. The Holy Spirit can come and bless them so quickly. He can also bless each one of you here. I know life in Kenya is difficult. Many of you live in poverty. We don't have enough food. And you just feel that. You just think that your life will not go any higher. Uh, uh, now, many people in Kenya, the life is very difficult. But when you follow God, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, that means you want more people saved. Now, uh, you want more people to enter the kingdom of heaven. And also you want Jesus to be the king in your heart. When Jesus is the king in your hearts, you are seeking the kingdom of God. And then all these things will be added to you. All these things you need will be added to you. Uh -huh. Come and bring you up to a higher level. Yeah. And God can bless Kenya through you. Don't look down upon yourself. Your life is very precious. Maisha yako ni sana. God is a wonderful plan in each one of us. Your life can go very high. You can bless many people. And in the process, you will be blessed. Let me tell you my age. My age now is, you know, many people won't, you know, will, will not think of it. Yeah, miaka yake, umri wake. Eh. I'm 66 already. I'm 66 years old. Ana miaka 66 na hivi 26. But look at my muscle. Angalia nyama zangu. And I play tennis. Yeah, ana cheza tennis. Asembali. <laughs> so God gives me strength. Now, many people in the 40s, they need eye glasses to read. But I don't need any eye glasses to read at all. Even my younger brothers and sisters, they need eye glasses to read. 
Hata ndugu zangu na dada zangu wale wanahitaji majoni ni waweze kusoma. And there are people who are 10 years or 20 years younger than I and they need eyeglasses to read. Lakini kuna watu wa mia umri wa miaka 10 wanahitaji glasses kusoma. But I don't need eyeglasses to read. Lakini pia mimi sijitahidi. And God has opened a way for me for ministry. In different countries. God has provided for me. Through me, this building back there was built. That's God's blessing. When I encourage my people to work, to, to give toward their building. Wakati ana shi wenzake wa msaidie jinsi kutoka na kujenga and then another building Sunday school building in Tanzania was built na nijenga pia shule ya watoto ya Jumapili kule Tanzania I want to say that this is the blessings of God na sema kama hizi ni baraka zake Bwana when I seek first the kingdom of God wakati natafuta ufalme wa Bwana kwanza and his righteousness na utakatifu wake that means righteousness means you obey God. Na utakatifu lazima umuishimu kwa. And not to sin. And not to sin. Not to sin. Sio kutenda dhani. And all these blessings were added to me. Oh, I want to want to add to kwa. All these blessings can be added to you too. Izi mitu zote. Izi baraka zote zineza kuitia kwa kubia. I hope you understand God is very real. Now today, now we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. He is very real to come to bless you. Anytime you cry to Jesus, you can experience Him. Now some people experience faster. Some people experience the Holy Spirit faster. Like this man here. Like he will be able to help out. Now you try this now. You try this now. Like you try this now. Cry out from your heart. Yeah. Cry out. Cry out from your heart. Yeah. Stand up. 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 Okay. Now. Now you cry out from your heart. Cry out. Jesus. Ita. Let me roll out with Jesus. Now cry out. Jesus. Yes. 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Did you experience something right away? Oh, nice. There's power going through here right now. Yeah. His body is shaking. There's power going through here now. Yeah. But I'm going to let him in and Tell them, tell them, stand up, stand up. Tell them, when you cry, just now I did not lay hand on him. I just told him to cry to Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiri. Amen. Wakati tunapo hitatu hiyo Yesu, nasikia kindani kama kuna mudundo flani. Amen. He says, when he calls upon Jesus, he feels the heart beat in her body. Inside his body. Inside his body. He feels heart beat. Heart beat, yes. What, what happened to heart beat? Goes faster, faster. Go faster. Uh, did you experience peace or love or joy? Now, cry to Jesus now. Yeah, you can answer this. Cry out, cry out. Yeah, yes. Cry to Jesus. Yes, you. Yes. Yes, you. Cry again. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, Yes, you. Cry again. Cry again. Cry again. Cry again. Here's something in your heart. Yes, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Okay, what did you experience inside? When I call on 
I hear that uh, it's like my heart uh, beating faster as I go and it, it, it increases. Did you experience peace and burdens of go away and lightness? Yes. Okay, what I want to say is, when you believe in Jesus, and cry to Jesus, like for me, any time I think of Jesus, any time, joy will go through me. Joy will go through me. Yeah, Power will go through me. Motivation will go through me. Yeah, the So the Holy Spirit will come to anyone who really wants Jesus. And the work of the Holy Spirit can be experienced. Now, for some people, they experience very powerfully and fast. What we need when I hit rock to cut it for For some people, it's not a fast. What we need is to harak. But when you open your heart to God, what I do for what Roman Yaku kwa me, He will come to you no matter what. Ata yiki ya kwa kwa kat ila wakat. Okay, I'm gonna give you some Bible verses of what. Nenda kupati. Nenda kupati ya nenda kat kutoka bibiria. Write this down. John chapter 14 verse 27. John 14 27. Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. John 14 27. 27. Not 47. You can say it in your language. Yeah. Johanna, Gumina, Ishirini, Saba. So, what's up? Okay, that's a good underlying part. Peace. I say with your language. Oh, Amani Nawajia. Amani Nawajia. Yes. Okay. Now, for many people, when they experience the Holy Spirit, what to make you are each long Takatifu? They become very peaceful. Wana Kuana Amani. Now, watch me. Watch me. Everyone, look at me. Get on what's a need to Zamet of Allah. When I open my heart to Jesus, I don't have to cry out. Just I open my heart and I can feel joy and peace coming to me. And with the presence of God, you will be blessed. And then Matthew 11 28. Matthew 11 28. There it says that, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Yeah. Joboni kwa kunyote mulio kubikwa na miziko ya kila ina na ntawapa kumuziko. A number of people this morning said that when I pray for them, they feel the burdens go away. Watu weki wana, wamesema asubi ya leo kwa wana jihisi miziko yao kiwanoleo. They feel lighter. Wana jihisi wepesi. That the burdens go away. The heaviness go away. The burdens, the heaviness go away. The burdens and the heaviness, heaviness, they are heavy. They are away. Miziko. Miziko. And for many people, the unhappiness go away. Now, what to wait for a hell in our yoga? That, you know, it's like some people say, if you like flying to God, oh, ah, hallelujah. And the burdens go away. Do you want the burdens to, to go away? Okay, now write these Bible verses down because because we'll use them for evangelism. 
Okay, now a third verse. Uh -huh. A third Bible verse, Romans 5 5. Yeah. Warumi Tano Tano. Okay. Here it says, says the love of God, just the last part. The love of God has been poured out into our heart by the Holy Spirit. Now, Upendo, Upendo Amungu, Ume Mwakwa Dani, Yamiyo Yetu. Now, in 1998, Mwaka Wa Elfmoya Miyakenda. When the evangelist lay hand on me, immediately I felt great power. And great love entered my heart. I felt greatly loved. And I cried for a long time. I was greatly touched by God. It has happened to many people I pray for too. I pray for many people and they started crying. And they feel touched by God. That it can happen to you too. That you can carry the power of God. When, we, when you carry the power of God, when you carry the power of God, and when you obey God, your life will go higher and higher. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, Psalm 16, verses 8 to 9. Psalms, Saburi, Every Bible verse say twice. Say okay, Psalms 16, 8 to 9. Okay. Here it says that. David said, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices, and my body also will rest secure. Nimeweka buwana kando yangu. Na kwa hivyo, eh, katika mkono wangu wakulia, na sita tingizika kamwe. Na moyo wangu umeja furaha, na ulimi wangu utamushangilia yesu, na moyo wangu utapogea kumuziko. There it says that when David always come close to the Lord, wakati dauti anaita yesu, then he will not be shaken. He will stand firm. Alishimama kitete. And then his heart is glad. Na mungu akashimama na ye. His heart is filled with joy. Moe wake unijaswa na upen furaha. And then his body was rest secure. Na akali. There is comfort to his body. Ea, mwini wake ukapata utulimu. Now many people said that when they pray, they feel the body is very light. And they feel great comfort. And some people who have insomnia, they could not sleep. And I pray for them. Some of them have lost sleep for a long time and could not sleep. And then when I pray for them, they said, I feel very sleepy. I have to go to sleep now. Please open the door yourself and then you can leave. They have no strength to open the door for me. There can be great comfort to the body. There can be great comfort to the body. That's the one work of the Holy Spirit. And some people say my body feels very light. It's like floating. Right now I feel like floating. Lord Jesus. Jesus is wonderful. And also, 
The Holy Spirit enables us to drive out demons and pray for the sick to be healed. In Mark 16, verse 17 and 18. Mark 16, verse 17 and 18. Mark 16, verse 17 and 18. Okay. Verse 17 says that miracles will follow those who believe. Miracles will follow those who believe. Yeah. Uh, and uh, miracle, uh, they will drive out demons in Jesus' name. And they will speak new tongues. And they will lay hand on the sick, they will be healed. Now, this has happened to me many times. Now, when I say it happened to me, I mean you too, all of you can have this happen to you. You know, there are people who are very young. Eight or nine or ten years old. And they can pray for the sick and the sick people are healed. Or tribal demons. Because the authority is from God, it's not from us. So you can do it. Yes. And then you can see sick people healed. The first time this happened to me, it was surely after I experienced the Holy Spirit. I went to preach in a church. I asked the pastor whether I can pray for your people. And he said, okay, anyone who wants to can go to the next room after the service. And there were about 20 people there. And I laid hand on all of them. I laid hand on all of them. And then I asked them what happened to them. And then the woman showed up. And she said, my back pain is healed. I have no more back pain. And then any woman showed up. And she said, my shoulder pain is healed. Now this is the first time that I pray for people that experience healing. And after that, it has happened many times. And also, many people I train, they also pray for people. And they saw people healed. One time, I prayed for a woman with cancer. She has cancer on her breast. And she came a long way to ask me to pray for her in a meeting. And then in the meeting, I prayed for her. I told her to relax. Because Jesus, to concentrate in Jesus. Now that's what I told you to do earlier. Concentrate in the Lord. I mean, I can concentrate and pray for a long time. Because I've done it a lot. Actually, I can even open my eyes and I can pray for people that can experience the power of God. Because I've learned to concentrate my heart. And this woman was very open. And she concentrated in the Lord. And then she started to laugh. And then after the prayer, she, now it, she said, she told me that she had pain on her breast for over a month. 
aliniambia alikuwa anaishi chungu saidia mwezi after the prayer I asked her how do you feel now baada ya mauti nikamuuliza je wajiizi vipi she said in the prayer she felt something dark left her body akasema ya kwamba haishi kitu kizito kime loga ndani ya mwili wake actually she felt some lay hand on her breast aliishi kwamba mtu ameshika titi lake She looked at me and I was not I was laying hand on his on her shoulder. It was the how the Holy Spirit came upon her breast. And she felt some dark power leave her body. And then she was filled with joy. And then she had no more pain. Tena uchungu. And then she went home and then I had to go to Yuma and the doctor checked her that Tara kampanyo kabu and said that she has no more cancer. Dr. Tara kasema hana tena saratani. Now I have miracles like this happen to me all the time. Nimeona miujizo kama hii kitendeka ndani ya maisha yangu. One time a woman brought a 20 year old girl. Siku moja nilikutana msichana wa miaka 20 The girl had insomnia for four years. For four years she could not sleep. And sometimes she would cry for a long time because she could not sleep. Now I got to me and the And then she brought her daughter to my meeting. She brought the daughter to my meeting and uh her. -huh. She brought the daughter to my meeting and had a trip. She brought her daughter to the meeting for me to pray for. Her. Oh. Sante. <laughs> okay. After the pray for her, she went home. And then she started to be able to sleep. She was going to college at that time and she had to stop going to college because of her insomnia problem but after the prayer she was gradually healed and then she can go back to college again and got her degree I've seen miracles like this all the time. Uh -huh. Come on in. I've seen miracles like this all the time. Yeah. And you too can have miracles. I hope you really believe. How many of you believe that there can be miracles now? How many of you believe that there can be miracles? Okay, very good. Now put down your hands. Let me ask you the second question. How many of you pray for people and they have miracles? How many of you pray for people and they have miracles? Please raise your hand. Now not just a few. Yeah, you know the reason is because why do so many people believe that only just a few have miracles? Yeah, because you haven't prayed for people. When you go out to pray for people, you see miracles. Now right now, I want you to stand up. And put your hand where you have pain or discomfort. Okay, everyone stand up now. Put your hand where you feel pain or discomfort. And anyone who wants to come out here, any one of you, who has sickness that you want me to pray for you right now, you can come out here. And the rest 
and stay in your seat. I soon get ready to come back. But those who want me to pray for you, come out here to the front. Okay, now put your hand where you have this comfort. Put yeah. your hand. Put your hand where you have this comfort. Where do you have this comfort? Put your hand where you have this comfort. Okay, now everyone close your eyes. Put your hand where you have this comfort. Concentrate in the Lord. We ask the Lord to perform miracles here now. And the Lord wants to do that. Now everyone concentrate in the Lord. Think about the Lord. Believe He's right here. And just say, Jesus. I will send it to Jesus. I love you. Na kupenda. Would someone hold my mic? Eh, kupate. Yeah. Oh. Someone can play the piano. Yeah, I'm just saying. You play a key and then I'll follow you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
anahitaji uzima vipi ni hili mpatie uko nyake lord jesus mungu yesu mwana vipi lord hili mpatie uko nyake haleluya haleluya praise the lord bwana yesu hili praise the lord bwana yesu hili take away the back take away the back ingia katika katika sehemu ya ya mgongo we love you jesus tunakupenda yesu we need you jesus tunahitaji yesu thank you jesus asante yesu When I see them again I feel relieved You feel relieved praise the Lord Yeah and Jesus is sorry How long did you have this pain My back pain The last two months Yeah The last two months Say your language Oh Eliaka kiwe tu eh Oh yaka kwe ni kupita And how do you feel now I want to see them again say I feel relieved Close your eyes. 
comfort of the love. Come on, and share my power of the power of the Lord. Would you raise your hand if you feel the power of the peace? Come on, and share my power. Come on, and share my power. Now feel the power of the Lord. I hope you all spend more time with God. Thank you. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Okay.